Welcome to the World Drone Market Channel. Today's video is a tutorial on connecting the CUAV NEO 4SE with the Holybro 6X flight controller. The NEO 4SE is a high-performance single-point positioning module designed for unmanned systems. The Holybro Pixhawk 6X is the latest update to the successful Pixhawk family of flight controllers, based on the Pixhawk FMUV 6X Open Standard and the Pixhawk Autopilot Bus Standard. The video is divided into three main parts. What products will be used in this test? How to connect them? How to display the results? What products will be used in this test? The products used in this test are CUAV NEO 4SE, Holybro 6X, CRC7, and a 5300 mAh battery. The cables used in this test are CRC7S dot bus cable, CRC7 Telem cable, Holybro 6X power module, CAN connection cable, CRC7 receiver power cable, JST to XT60 adapter. How to connect them? The UART1 port of the CRC7 receiver connects to the Telem 1 port of the Holybro 6X flight controller. The connector for the CRC7 receiver UART1 port is GH1.253 pin, while the connector for the Holybro 6X Telem port is GH1.256 pin. The S.Bus port of the CRC7 receiver connects to the RC port of the Holybro 6X flight controller. The S.Bus port connector on the RC7 receiver is GH1.252 pin, and the RC port connector on the Holybro 6X is a 2.54mm DuPont 3 pin. The CAN port of the NEO 4SE connects to the CAN 1 port of the Holybro 6X flight controller. Both ends of the CAN cable use GH1.254 pin connectors. The power module connects to the battery to supply power to the Holybro 6X flight controller. The JST to XT60 adapter connects to the power module. Use the RC7 power cable to connect the adapter to supply power to the receiver. The RC7 receiver uses an XT30 connector, while the other end uses a JST 2.54 mm 2P connector.
How to display the results. Open UniGCS. Click the top right corner to go to the Remote Controller Settings page. Click Data Connection, set Data Link 1 to UDP, BOD Rate 1 to 57600, and the ground station will connect automatically. If it does not connect, click the Flight Controller Interface, set the connection method to UDPCI, and if an address is required, Enter 192.168.144.20.19856. Once connected, you can view and configure the flight controller's data. In the remote calibration interface, you can see that the SBUS channel control is working normally. Return to the flight interface, click the arrow for one key takeoff, and the central black disk displays the flight controller's real-time status. Open QGC, go to Application Settings, and in the Communication Links page click Add. Give the link any name, set type to UDP. Port to zero and address to 192.168.144.20.19856. Click Add Address. Then OK. Return to the Communication Links page, select the link we just set, and click Connect. Go to the flight interface to see that the flight controller is connected to the ground station. Click the icon at the top left to enter vehicle configuration, then click Parameters. In the parameter list, set the following. GPS type, drone cam. NTF LED types, drone can. Can P1 driver, first driver. After setting the parameters, click Tools, then Reboot Vehicle. After reconnecting to the flight controller, moving it will display its real-time status, and the NEO 4SE lights will be functioning normally. That concludes today's tutorial video on connecting the CUAV NEO 4SE with the Holybro 6X flight controller. Thank you for watching and supporting us.
If you have any questions about the video, or if you'd like us to cover certain topics in more detail in the future, feel free to leave us a comment. Don't forget to subscribe to the World Drone Market channel, we will continue to bring you more drone equipment reviews, tutorials, and practical guides. See you in the next video.